Let's look at archaeology. In 1812, Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt saw some black stones with strange writing in the city of Hama in northern Syria that did not resemble Egyptian writing. In 1834, French explorer Charles Texier saw a huge city with a wall three miles long with writing on it that was similar that did not resemble Egyptian writing. And this was in northern Turkey. The other one was in northern Syria. And the architecture also did not um, reflect Greek or Roman architecture. It was a completely different architecture and different writing. And they didn't know what it was. Even the local people in northern Turkey didn't know the origin of the runes. They didn't know who, which civilization was here before them. Over the course of the next 50 years, they found numerous examples of this writing over a span of 800 miles and they didn't know what it was. Finally, in 1880, at the London meeting of the Society for Biblical Archaeology, William Wright and Archibald Sacy made their formal claim based on the Bible that the, this civilization were the long-lost Hittites. But scholars criticized them because they made their claim based on the Bible until German archaeologist Hugo Winkler would decipher 10,000 clay tablets and the cuneiform writing on them and say, yes, this was indeed the Luvian language, which was the language of the Hittites. What does the Bible have to say about this? Apparently a lot. In Genesis chapter 23, verse 17 and 18, it reads, So Ephron's field was deeded to Abraham as his property in the presence of all the Hittites who had come to the gate of the city. The second most sacred site in Judaism was the burial site of Abraham. And the burial site of Abraham was owned formerly by Hittites. And then you come to Deuteronomy and you find verses where it says that the Hittites were living in the land when um, the people of Israel came from uh, Egypt to Canaan. Moses writes that the Hittites were already there in the land. And then you come to 2 Samuel and um, Bathsheba, the, the wife of David, her former husband was Uriah the Hittite. You see over several centuries and there is 46 mentions of the word Hittite in the Bible but no mention of the Hittites in any writing in antiquity. There is no other ancient document that talks about the Hittites even though they were spread over 800 miles and over oh, hundreds of years. There are hundreds of such, thousands of such examples where the Bible is used as a historical document to corroborate archaeological findings when there is nothing else. And it shows the credibility of the Bible.